As you get some experience with Azure ML Studio, you might get to the point to where you're tired of using the bare minimum compute instance and having your uh, experiment pipelines runs take uh, uh, 10, 12 minutes to run. So let's create a new compute instance that we use only when we're short on time and want things to run quicker. So come here to manage. First of all, I'm on the home screen here, manage compute. And let's make a new, new one. And this one I'll call my uh, fast, uh, faster. I will make this the fastest one. I'm going to continue to use a GPU. Uh, I'm going to look at these recommended options. Before we did this one, and it was 15 cents an hour. Let's go all the way up and try this one right here. Uh, that's 30 cents an hour. So double the cost. Hopefully it gives us at least twice the speed. So next, um, oh, this name already exists. Faster standard, that's what we'll call it. So it's still one of the standards, but faster. Uh, let's do go to the advanced settings because this is, uh, this is important. We want to add a schedule for startup and shutdown. In case we accidentally leave this on, we want to make sure that uh, it, it uh, doesn't keep charging us money. Um, you can take your pick on what time you want to use. Uh, let's see, universal time. I guess I better convert my own time to 8 p.m. I thought, let's see, UTC to MST, which is what I'm on. Let's see here. So it's 5 p.m. at 11 a.m. And right now I'm at three o'clock in MDT. So they're six hours ahead. So that means it would be shutting down um, at two o'clock each day. So I probably don't want that. I'm going to want to do something like, uh, I'll say six. Uh, or no, eight, uh, nine. No, 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 we think, doing the math in my head. If that puts it at, oh, I got to check it again. Make sure you do your math right. So 5 p.m. my time, it's mid, or 6 p.m. it's midnight their time. Okay, so that's what I want. I want 12, 1 a.m. And I'm just gonna make sure to shut down every day just in case who knows what day it is. All right, got this set up. Let's go ahead and create. No, I'm not doing feedback right now. And that's it. So I'm going to let this run and then show you how to make sure that we select this faster one whenever we're uh, uh, doing our pipeline experiments. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and stop this slower one. I'm not going to delete it, just stop it so that I'm not being charged on it. And I'll pause and come back. All right, got it up and running now. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the designer and grab this uh, experiment pipeline right here. This is just our, our simple insurance to summarize data. Before this took two and a half minutes to run, let's uh, submit it again, this time using the uh, faster instance. Uh, settings, learning computer, nope, we're gonna use faster standard. Let's submit this thing and see what it takes. Okay, well, that was a bit of a fail for me. It only took two seconds, which seems awesome. However, it's because it recycled my last run. So it didn't actually show me just how much faster this was. But I do want to show you one other way to speed up your experiments. So uh, I'll probably do this often throughout the book or the video series, or at least sometimes, to try and make things run a bit faster for you. But I want you to use the partition and sample pill which is useful when we have massive data sets and we want to we're in development mode and we don't want to run our experiment pipeline on the entire data set so click here on partition and sample rate of sampling that says uh, get one percent of the overall data well since this is only 1338 records that would only give us 13 records that wouldn't be enough let's do something more like uh, let's say 10 percent and I'll use one, two, three, four, five as my random seed. 
I started to run it, but I stopped and thought, you know what, let's actually run it without summarized data first um, so that we can see exactly how long it takes to run summarized data. So what I'm going to do is submit this and wait till this pill has finished. Then I'm going to stop, cancel the run, and then I want to restart it so it just processes summarized data with a smaller data set, and that'll tell us, uh, give us a better comparison to when we ran on just summarized data alone. So let me go ahead and submit. And like me, I want you just to keep an eye on when this pill is done and cancel the run as soon as it's finished. So preparing, because this process of partition sample will add a bit of overhead, but it only has to be done once rather, and then everything else after it that we do should go a lot quicker. Okay, my partition and sample is complete. Now is the real test to see how long it takes. Even though this show's running, I've actually canceled the run, uh, so that is a mistake. But let's go ahead and uh, submit this now. And see how long summarized data takes now that it'll pull this from cache. All right, I am past three minutes and mine's still running. Oh, there we go, finalizing. So this actually took longer than it did before, but I think it actually has to do with me stopping the run or canceling it in the middle of it and then restarting it. Anyway, uh, I'm not too worried that this didn't work out quite as well because overall, on average, we're gonna find that our experiments complete a lot faster when we're using one of those compute instances with the, that are the 30 cent per hour maximum possible speed uh, and if you want to, like I say, you can add a credit card to Azure and, uh, you know, pay something more like a dollar an hour if you want something really fast. But uh, I'll leave that up to you. For those who are on the student accounts, um, I would just stay on this one to make sure you don't get any uh, nasty surprise bills. Um, that's it for now.